Hello, my name is David Wallowidnik, and thank you for tuning into the BC Liquor Store YouTube channel. I'm a spirit educator, an award-winning bartender, and the resident cocktail stylist for Taste Magazine. In the 2020 holiday issue, we've got a series of liqueur cocktails that I'm sure you'll find of interest. The one that I'd like to demonstrate for you now is called the After Eight. It's a twist on a classic grasshopper. The grasshopper came on the cocktail scene in the early 1900s. A combination of mint and chocolate together. A classic flavor pairing. It involves creme de menthe, creme de cacao, and typically a little bit of cream. Well, my little twist on this classic is by substituting the cream for a little bit of eggnog. Now, you could make your own eggnog if you wish. I've decided to purchase this one. Or if dairy isn't suitable for you, then feel free to use a non-dairy eggnog as a substitute in the same recipe. Now, we don't need a lot of fancy equipment either. A shaker, a Hawthorne strainer, and a measuring device. That's it. So let's get mixing. Let's start by taking the shaker and measuring out our ingredients. We're going to start with the creme de menthe. Now the creme de menthe we're going to put one fluid ounce or 30 mils of that one. Same amount of the creme de cacao. That's again one fluid ounce or 30 mils of this one and the eggnog. Classically, the grasshopper only has the same amount, 30 mils or one ounce, but I really want this flavor to come through in a more prominent fashion. So to this, we're going to triple that and add three fluid ounces or 90 mils of the eggnog. Good, to the last drop. There we go. All those beautiful ingredients in there. Now all we really have to do is add some ice and shake it up. So, in the cocktail shaker, we're going to add enough ice to fill it approximately three quarters of the way. That should do it. And let's also take this opportunity to add a little bit of ice to our glass. If you wish, you could serve this neat in a cocktail coupe or something like that. I like it over ice. That's just my personal preference. And that's the way you'll see it in the magazine. Now, let's give it a little shake and then pour it over there. You can feel it getting cold on the outside of the shaker aerated it. Now as an option, you could fine strain out all those little ice shards. For this cocktail, I personally like the ice shards that kind of gather on the top of the drink and it's a lovely little texture. So strain that in there. And let's garnish with a piece of fresh mint. Let's just smack it on my hand just a little bit to activate the aromatics of that mint. Place that right over top. And there you go. Pretty simple, hey? It's absolutely delicious. So pick up Taste Magazine, the holiday issue, to check out this recipe and many more. And thank you again for tuning into the BC Liquor Store YouTube channel. Please hit subscribe and look forward to seeing you again soon.